Hey guys, I'm Nick from Micro Center. I'm sure you'll have heard about the new Office 2013 coming out soon. It's going to have a completely revamped version of you know, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and all those guys. Um, today we're going to take a look at PowerPoint 2013. We have the preview version, but for the most part it's the same. Um, we're taking a look at the new interface, some of the cool new features with this, and things like that. So let's get started. Alright, so with the desktop of Windows 8, let's go ahead and open up the new PowerPoint 2013. Click the Windows key on our keyboard. We'll type in PowerPoint and we'll click on PowerPoint 2013. That'll bring up the splash screen for a quick second and bring us to the intro for uh, PowerPoint 2013. It's got a couple of cool little um, templates and themes for us already set up. You can go and search for more. Let's say I want to search for nature. I'll click on nature. It's going to search for a bunch of templates and it'll bring us a bunch of options. Let's say I'll just do a grassy blue earth presentation because that globe looks shiny. And we'll click on that. And it's a pretty big file, 13 megs. So I'll skip that for now and we'll go for more of a basic one, 604 kilobytes. A little better. We'll click on create and it's going to download the template real quick. And then it's going to snap us right over to the uh, main working page and allow us to start working on it. Um, you can also have chosen just a basic blank PowerPoint document and or PowerPoint presentation and you have gone right into working and create your own themes if you choose not to use any of the pre-designed ones um, but the cool thing is it has some pre-designed themes like this here tons of different slides in this one some of them only have one slide some have you know a couple of different ones so there's a signature for this guy here of people who made it and you just go through and take a look okay I like this I like this I'm just going to add a quick title here and we'll go ahead and we'll save it as is. So file the top left, click save as, and you have three options. You have your sky drive, you have your computer you can save it to, and you can add a place like a different sky drive account or things like that. I'm just gonna save it to the desktop for the time being, and we'll keep it as green earth. That works for me. And we'll click save, and it'll save. No progress, we're at the bottom for waiting for it to save, so we'll go ahead and close it, and we'll find it right on our desktop right there. And you see the difference is, from PowerPoint to Word. I have a Word document right here. It looks pretty basic, just the icon, set my Excel. But if you download a template or create a different icon like this, some of the templates have the first slide or some kind of pre-designed icon. It's really kind of cool. And we'll click on it, we'll open it up, and there we go. You can also pick up where you left off. It's a really cool feature, I think, with Office 2013. Click right there and it takes you right to where you were working. Um, that's pretty much a general overview of PowerPoint 2013. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a contact at uh, microcentertech.com.